Hi, this is uh, Chaplain Bob with some advice. This is not so much a Bible. This is not a Bible study. This is just some advice and some observations that I've made. I joined a Bible community thinking, well, you know, I'll post some scriptures and what have you. And I've noticed the, it's a fairly large Bible community. And I've noticed that the so-called atheists have taken it over. And all they do is condemn Christianity. That's all they do. Well, if God exists, where's the proof? Well, you see the proof of God? Um, well, you see over millions and millions of years, God evolved. You know, what can I tell you? But what they do is they condemn Christianity. But when I pointed out things, well, let's compare Christianity to Judaism. Christianity is just basically believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, right? Judaism is, hey, we're going to build a temple, kill animals, and then burn them <clears throat> and keep laws, uh, over 600 laws. And these so-called atheists, they don't have a problem with killing and burning animals, they just have a problem with believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, the um, there's a group of rabbis called, you know, Hasidic. They're called the Lubavitch, L-U-B-A-V-I-T-C-H, Chabad, C-H-A-B-A-D. And uh, they actually perform, when they do uh, circumcisions, they actually clean the blood off the baby's penis with their mouth. I mean, can you imagine? And when I pointed that out to this group with the so-called atheists, what did they do? Did they say, oh, that's sick? No. They said, well, you Christians do even worse. So, which leads me to believe that these people are secretly Zionists trying to destroy Christianity. That's what I have gathered. Because they don't go to the Jewish uh, websites and tell them how stupid they are to believe in God. No. Do they go to Muslim websites and tell them how stupid they are? No. They only come to Christian websites and tell us how stupid we are to have faith in Christ. So, you know, what can I tell you? Oh, and by the way, that that Jewish practice is, uh, let's see, let's, let's give you, let me spell it for you so you can look it up by yourself. All right, the, uh, they call it oral suction when the rabbis do the uh, cleaning of the, the baby's penis from blood with their mouth. They call it uh, M-E-T-Z-I-T-Z-A-H. And they also spell it M-E-T-S-I-T-S-A-B-P-E-H. Oral suction. They also call it B-R-I-T-M-I-L-A-H. And, you know, the thing is, there was um, so many children getting herpes I mean, you're talking an eight-year-old baby getting herpes from the mouth of this rabbi. I mean, a lot of them were dying. So, you know, it was happening. It's happening in Miami. It's happening in New York. And it's happening in um, Los Angeles. That's the three largest areas in the United States with the largest I guess you could say Jewish population. New York is number one, LA is number two, and then Miami's third. Well, South Florida. Do you know that two million Jews live in New York City? Two million. Yeah. 25% of New York City is Jewish. So, but the uh, atheists don't have a problem with 
this thing. They they actually defend it, and then they'll uh, say, "Well, you know, the Christ those those priests do the same thing." So what can I tell you? And it's funny how the uh, Jewish Anti Defamation League, the ADL, defends the Vatican, and funny how the Vatican defends the um, ADL, which is the ADL is a Jewish group. So, you know, uh, just just realize something. I think a lot of these so-called atheists, they're not atheists, they're Zionists. They're the, what Jesus called in Revelation 2.9, um, he says, I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, that's my opinion. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, so, you know, um, these so-called atheists, they, they don't have a problem. The only, the only problem they have is Christianity. So, all right, well, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life.